What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back again with another video and this time I am unboxing my new Mariah Carey vinyl which is Butterfly, one of my favorite, one of my favorite albums from her. So let's go right ahead and get into it. So, I got on the same shirt as last week, okay, because I got both of these vinyls in the same day, so we swapping them out, okay? I brought this album off of Amazon because I have been looking at it for a while, um, on FYE, Urban Outfitters and everything, but it ended up selling out when I did decide to get it. Sometimes you will end up going broke, not necessarily broke, because I'm, I'm, I'm good, okay? But I'm just saying, sometimes you will gotta, you know, get a little low on funds, my vinyls because sometimes they will be they'll be here today and then tomorrow you're like okay I got paid now it's time for me to get it and you there and they're sold out so it's like it is always the legends and everybody who tends to sell out quicker and the new artists so always try to hurry up and just go ahead and get it at least place the order or put it through in some way shape or form child because it just seems like hard to find it just seems like their albums is just so hard to find like Tony Braxton, Mariah Carey, like I still, I'm just grateful that I was able to find uh, Janet Jackson albums and at least be able to find one Mariah Carey album. Like I'm just like, oh my gosh. I'm still waiting on my Brandy Vinyl uh, records. I haven't found any Tony Braxton yet. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what is going on? Like please just reissue and repress these albums so I can have them. Like please, I'm tired. But child so i'm unboxing butterfly and i love this particular album from her because i just felt like out of all the albums that mariah carey has i feel like she challenged herself a lot with this particular one i don't know i just love the songs it's just very r b to me and i love r b and i'm not saying like mariah carey ain't always been doing it but i just felt like this album is like it's my top five R&B albums, I'm gonna just have to say it. It's, it's pop too, I mean, the album has a little bit of pop in it, but it's very R&B to me, um, and I love it. So I was like, okay, this is going to be the first Mariah Carey vinyl that I get. Um, the other one, I do, I did get uh, Daydream, but it hasn't came yet. So this one is here first, so we're about to open it up. But before we do, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my social media down below in the description box, and click the bell to be notified when I upload, okay? So, I do reaction videos if you're new. Unboxing, as you can see, but I ain't gonna get too far down, because my head is just saying. So, ugh. never cut towards yourself, kids. Never do that. Ever. Ooh. I just ripped the box, y'all. That's it. That's it. All right. Let me go rip. Just go cut. Come on. Here we go. These are plastics that's supposed to cover the vinyl, but they don't fit. They just keep ripping. So now I ordered from another company and I'm shipping those back. So I gotta use that box so I can ship the other things back. But this is it here from Amazon. Um, Amazon usually don't really have like the special exclusive vinyl because you know you got like Fye, Urban Outfitters. Um, Vinyl Me Please, where they would have, you know, the, the tri-color, the different colors on the disc and stuff. Amazon don't really do that. But from the looks of it, I think this is the 20th anniversary uh, vinyl. So it might be special. From the reviews, I saw the pictures and it looked like the special edition or whatever. So, I don't know, child. Let's see, it's Amazon, you never know. I don't 
don't see nothing else. Y'all know y'all look first. I'm gonna see the back. What it look like, yo? What it look like? What it look like? I see my favorite song in the back. All right. Oh, it looks so good. So, come on. Commemorating the twentieth anniversary of Mariah's iconic album includes personal note from Mariah. Mariah Carey. Wait, how I open it? Oh. Wait, girl, how I open it? So. Oh my gosh. Y'all look at that. I love the little butterflies that's on the, the cover. And I love the picture. I just, ooh, I love this. Look at the back. And I think it was like, it said five left or 12 left, if I'm not mistaken. So far as what I've known, there's still some there. But by the time I upload this video, it's probably none. But I'll put the link down below and if it's still available. I don't know. I don't know when I'm uploading this, but we're getting to Miss Mariah Oh, Miss Butterfly. <laughs> so it's supposed to be a personal note in here. Where's oh it's right there? I was about to say where it's at. So these are the butterflies that's on the cover that I, I think that is so cute. It's like little stickers or something. That is so adorable. <laughs> that is so adorable. Okay. The Butterfly album represents a pivotal moment in my life, both personally and professionally. I'll always cherish these moments of creation of this album, of the creation of this album, I'm sorry, writing the songs all over the world, working in the studio and collaborating with some of my favorite producers and artists to bring this project to life. Each song has a deeply significant meaning to me some because of the experiences that led me to write them and others because of the freedom to finally explore new musical directions and spread my reach as an artist and songwriter shout out to the songwriters okay shout out to the people who push their pins just saying um there are special moments that occur in one's life that are that we never let go of and creating butterfly is one of them for me. I remember writing the song Girl. <laughs> I remember writing the song Butterfly in my head while I was upstairs at the house where I lived in upstate New York. The house was beautiful but the situation was extremely stifling and noticed a beautiful a beautiful butterfly covered into the mantle or the fireplace that I had never seen before. From the moment as the song in the album took shape, the butterfly became symbolic to me. And I had never even liked butterflies before. Years later, that house burned down. One of the only pieces that survived from it was the fireplace with this butterfly and it made its way back to me. It is one of my treasured possessions that I find inspiration in. I'm grateful to be able to celebrate this album all this time after its original release through the years. I've been getting letters and hearing from fans about how much this album means to them. It is still one of my favorites and I hope you enjoy revisiting this special collection as much as I do. Spray your wings and prepare to fly for you have became a butterfly. Love, Mariah. Oh, that is so cute. I mean, I had to give it up for the songwriters, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mariah is a writer, and she really pushes her pen. She's a legend, and yeah, she deserves all of her flowers, period. Like, Mariah is just that girl. So, yes, this is it. So, this is the note here at the bottom. 
I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it. Is there a ring like child? But that's it right there. This is the track listing in the back. So I always would listen to this song digitally. And now that I own the album, I'm just just happy. You know, it's a beautiful moment that I will never forget. <laughs> ever. Ever, ever forget. <sighs> so hold on. Hold, hold, hold it. So I think this is cute. I love the fact. I'm hoping that um more artists do this with their albums. Like celebrate the anniversary in some way, shape, or form. I think that would be amazing. So I love stuff like this. Um, this is everything to me. So I'm, I'm trying to get this in there. But anyways, I'm finna end the video, y'all. So this is the vinyl. It has Mariah in the front. And then the gold and the butterfly in the back. And yeah. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And follow my social media down below in the description box. And click the bell to be notified when I upload. And I will see you amazing and beautiful people in the next video. If there's some vinyl, you know, ID, well, some vinyls that you guys would like for me to unbox, you let me know in the comment section. And most likely, I will do it. Because I trust y'all. Okay? So, I'll see you in the next one.